Hello viewers, welcome to the domestic news update on Top Accolade News. First, the headlines. Senator Ifain Uba defect to APC. Atiku's appeal dismiss are requested by Tinubu at Supreme Court. Federal government grants first oil exploration license under PIA. Details coming up shortly. In politics, Senator Ifain Uba defect to APC. Representing Anambra South, Senator Ifain Uba has made a significant political shift by moving from the Young Progressive Party, YPP, to the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC. In a letter addressed to the Senate President, Goswil Akwabio, Uba cited irreconcilable differences within the YPP as the primary reason for its defection. He expressed his willingness to inform the Senate formally about the discord between him and the YPP leadership. Uba, now aligned with the APC, emphasized careful considerations, consultations with constituents and critical stakeholders of a number of states in making this pivotal decision. Still moving on in politics, Atiku's appeal dismissal are requested by Tinubu at Supreme Court. President Bola Tinubu, the elected candidate of the 2023 presidential race, has taken his stance to the Supreme Court, urging the dismissal of an appeal made by Al Haji Atiku Abu Bakr of the People's Democratic Party PDP. In a 42 brief filed by a formidable legal team, Tinubu emphasized the need to uphold the Court of Appeals decision that dismissed Atiku and PDP's joint petition against his election. Tinubu reaffirmed this valid election, pointing out that he secured 25% of the total vote in 29 states, surpassing the constitutional requirement of 24.7 states. He argued that Atiku and PDP fell short of this requirement in 21 states, making his victory constitutionally legitimate. On business matters, federal government grants first oil exploration license under PIA. In a significant development for Nigeria's oil and gas sector, the federal government has granted the first petroleum exploration license, PEL, under the Petroleum Industry Act 2021. TGS Petrol Data Offshore Services Limited secured the license through the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Commission, adhering to the provisions outlined in the PIA. This groundbreaking license authorizes TGS Petrol Data Offshore to conduct non-exclusive petroleum exploration operations over a vast area and acquire essential seismic and gravity data, stimulating potential investment within the sector. The move is expected to enhance data availability, enabling efficient auctioning of reserves for development and attracting investments. You are watching the news on Top Accolade News. Do stay with us. Still to come. Thanks for staying with us concerning entertainment. Singer Kahid reveals reason for conversion from Islam to Christianity. Sulaiman Shikani Solomon, popularly known as Kahid, a 19-year-old sensational singer, opens up about his personal journey from Islam to Christianity. Born to a Muslim father and a Christian mother, Kahid found a stronger connection to Christianity and decided to convert from Islam. Despite being forced to attend mocks during his younger years, he later shifted to attending church, finding resonance with his beliefs. Kahid family maintained an open-minded approach, allowing each sibling to choose their faith, ultimately leading him to embrace Christianity fully. 
This revelation sheds light on his unique religious journey and the values that guide his life and career. In sports, Super Falcons Abiodun recount humble beginnings. Deborah Abiodun, a midfielder for the Super Falcons in the upcoming 2023 Women's World Cup, shares the touching story of our football journey. Shedding light on our humble beginnings, Abiodun reminisces about our first pair of football boots, a gift from a coach named Yobo, which she acquired with just 700 naira. Growing up, she played alongside boys on a team and our early experiences were marked by the support and guidance of Coach Yobo. His mentorship and the memorable gift of our first pair of boots played a significant role in shaping our football career. That concludes our domestic news update for today. Stay tuned for more domestic news and development. Thanks for joining us. I am Jonathan Powe. Connect and engage with us on all our social media handles. Do have a wonderful day.